In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this morning's Gospel, the disciples didn't know what to do or what had gone wrong. Here they were, having followed Jesus, some of them having just witnessed the transfiguration on Mount Tabor, having just recognized and seen in Jesus Christ the very Son of God, the beloved Son of His Father, with whom He was well pleased, having witnessed the Holy Spirit descend upon Him as a cloud, and having heard from Him what was to come, already predicting His passion that was coming. Those same disciples, those same apostles, who had been given authority to heal the sick, to cast out demons, to even raise the dead, could not cast the demon out of this boy. And so the father, as any father would do for his son, kept trying. Having tried everything he could, he goes to Jesus Christ and says, Lord, have mercy on my son. Have mercy on him and heal him. And Jesus, the very Son of God, casts the demon out. So the apostles want to know, what did we do wrong? This is what we're trained to do. This is what you've given us authority to do, and yet we couldn't do it. What did we do wrong? So Jesus says and tells them that this requires faith. Yes, faith that even those apostles didn't have at that time. And then he says, for these demons require prayer and fasting. And in doing so, relates to us that connection of the faith. A faith that is... A faith that requires, a faith that is followed by the discipline of prayer and of fasting. This Dormition fast that we are in right now is a reminder to us of the importance of that prayer and fasting. That our lives in Christ, as we seek to cast the demons out in our own lives, are not, is not only fulfilled by just coming to church every Sunday or every other Sunday, but rather that our lives in Christ continue throughout our days, throughout the week, and that our faith is one that requires discipline and training, requires exercise. Some of us don't mind getting up in the morning to exercise every day or every few days. Some of us maybe don't mind exercising our mind by reading and studying. But how many of us forget to exercise our spirit and our soul through those gifts that God has given to us in prayer and fasting? Not just on Sunday mornings as we fast before church, before communion, as we come together and as we pray together, the prayers that we've been given in the Holy Church, but throughout our lives following that discipline of prayer and of fasting, that we too might recognize the demons around us, and that in recognizing them, we might cast them out. The disciples knew what they had missed. They recognized what was wrong with the boy? And yet in their lack of faith and in their lack of the discipline of their faith, they weren't able to carry out that task that God had given them as apostles to cast out the demons. We too are given a task by God to recognize in our lives the demons that afflict us, and through prayer and fasting to remove them. St. Theophon the Recluse says, 
that where there is no prayer and fasting, there are the demons. Our lives here in Christ are lives in which we need to recognize those demons and attack them through prayer and fasting. This Dormition Fast, let us remember that and refocus that in our own lives. Let us spend that time in the morning in prayer. Let us attend the services of God, yes, here in this church. But let us not neglect that prayer outside of church as well. That we might draw closer to Him who can indeed move mountains. And that our faith might be strengthened so that we too might move the mountains within our own lives. That we might move those mountains, those distractions, those demons. And that in doing so we might focus on the one who in coming down from the Mount of Transfiguration reminds us where he is going. Reminds us that this path that he is walking, and the path on which he calls us to walk, is a path that leads to the cross and to the resurrection. That we too might experience the glory that awaits us in Jesus Christ, and that we might worship and glorify him with his Father and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Amen.